video is for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. I want you to go see my contact in the Winterhold District. If you can't find him, ask around about the elf with the staff. He seemed to think you had a job that needed doing. Something for someone with a small frame. Ah, that'd be the Octopearl heist we planned last year. My advice is to trust no one. Everyone in this line of work is in it for themselves. Now that you've collected your things, it's time to begin. The mastery EMP is to be used on the main vault door. Locate a secure position to place the EMP. Hey, kid. You awake? No, I'm going to help me all right now. I'm tired. A mass clunk against your noggin, fella. Uh, excuse me. I said, your cranium's taking a whack, my guy. You're looking a bit off your head, boy. Oh, am I dead? No deader than I am, laddie. <laughs> You've been asleep, boy! Time to wake up! Clothes? Uh, yeah. Why? I thought they'd look better on me. I'm pretty sure these are made for a more feminine figure anyways, so... Not to question your fashion choice or anything, but I'm just saying. Wait, I, I can't be here. I, I have to go get the... The thing. I have to get back. Oh, shit, careful. Oh. Oh. I was gonna tell you not to move. I have to. Morgan said I have to get the... I have to go. M Morgan? I need to find the uh, Octo. Um, is that you? I had this really weird dream. There's this crazy Irish guy yelling at me. This sexy ninja lady was feeding me soup. Sounds like you had quite the night. But you're gonna be all right now. It's perfectly safe here in my little cabin in the woods. Cabin in the woods? You're the... You're the... You're the... The girl who saved your ass from being bagged, tagged, imprisoned, and used as a gimp? Uh... What? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. You're in my home. You've got a serious concussion. How did I get here? I was there when you alerted that sentry. You took that blow to your head and passed out. I stepped in to help. Pulled you out. Took you here. Why did you help me? You didn't have to do this. I have my reasons. I took you here to ask you some questions. When I saw you in that gift shop, I had my suspicions. And I was hoping to quell some of them. But after something you said when you briefly woke up yesterday, I'm officially concerned. I'm going to ask you some questions that you may not want to answer, but you will answer them, because if you don't, I can't say my compassion will outlast my patience. I have extensive experience getting information out of people. Ideally, 
I would like to keep things from getting messy today. You seem like a decent guy. I'd hate to end up with your skin corpse on my nice clean floor. And you seem a decent woman. Hate to die. That's the spirit. Now, why were you in that gift shop? I was there to obtain an item from the vault. What was the item you were there to obtain? Uh, it was a jewel of some kind. What jewel? That they, they never told me. They never specified what jewel you were looking for? They said that the less I knew, the better. They wanted to keep me on a short leash. So let me get this straight. They just plucked you up off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way's up? They didn't explain anything to you about their motives? What they were planning? Why they needed you in the first place? Well, they said they needed someone who can fit into tight spaces. And? And nothing. That's it. You're kidding me. That's it? That's all you need to hear before deciding to go delve into an abandoned building full of cult members to find something that may or may not actually be there? Come on, man. Hey, I was desperate. Okay, he offered me a way out of this place. Better life. Who's he? Who told you that bullshit? Uh, I... I can't tell you. You can, and you will. Now who sent you? Look, this isn't the type of info you just give up, okay? Like, I can't be pissing this guy off. If he finds out that I said something, and he, he won't find out. I just need a name. Please, I can't. Look, buddy. I know who it is. I know who sent you. I'm going to ask you again. And if you lie to me, I'll be sitting back sipping peach tea while I watch the blood drain through these floorboards. Now answer the question. Uh, I... I it's Morgan. His name is Morgan. It's Morgan. Good. You recognize this guy? He was there at the beheading. Same as the others that were found dead. Or went missing. Oh my god, look here. Shit. I didn't know. Look here's dead? Who did this? I'll give you one guess. You think Morgan did this? Why? Why would he kill Lokir? If I tell you, you're gonna want to keep yourself seated. There's so much you don't know. And I'm about to blow your frickin' mind, kid. So when he can't pay them off, he uses their weaknesses against them. For Lokir, it was his fear. For you, it was your desperation. He saw that and used it. Only he failed to ensure you were actually dead. He's got this bad habit with making assumptions. Are you sure that beheading was planned? It looked like a freak accident. Morgan is an ass, and he can be prideful, which can lead him to make mistakes. But he rarely leaves loose ends untied. He just didn't account for the fact that the magician he hired was a relapsing alcoholic. So now he has to get to work covering the whole thing up because of one sloppy mercenary. Exactly. If he had just waited until Evan went home before killing him, he could have kept the whole thing quiet, collected the dead at the same time. I have no idea why he would have even tried it out in the open like that. That was just unprofessional. How much did Evan even owe? Honestly, not that much. It was more about setting an example than collecting the debt. But now, because of the actions of one amateur, this whole shitstorm is out in full force. Dear God. And if those people are dead, that means I'm on the chopping block too. Yeah, looks like it. But if it makes you feel any better, so am I. In fact, I've been on Morgan's chopping block for a very long time. Are you saying you guys were partners? Once, yeah. But let's just say I knew more about him than he cared to know about me. It led him to overlook a few things. And when I finally made off with a large portion of his earnings, he sent a group of his thugs after me. Luckily, I learned a thing or two under his employ. Thanks to that, I haven't been caught to this day. So you just lived here this whole time, hiding out? Well, not just here. Been all over this place. I know Renaissance world like the back of my hand, even from before it was called that. This place used to be known as Mist Valley. Then some rich asshole with an idea and a permit came in here and undermined the natives almost overnight. Shoot us off into the mountains. The ones who fled to preserve the old ways call themselves the Forsworn. The rest of us just got used to our new way of life, and made it work in our favor as best we could. 
Why'd you stay here? Why not work with your people to try to preserve the old ways? I did. For a time. The Forsworn grew angry and restless. They built up a hatred for the usurpers. And the old ways became more and more barbaric. I couldn't bear to watch while my people lost themselves in their rage. I had to evolve past what I knew. In order to live peacefully. It just wasn't worth the heartache. I'm, uh... I'm sorry. It's alright. After the whole thing with Morgan, I was found by a group of strangers. They had no reason not to just leave me in the dirt where they found me. They could have walked off and abandoned me there like a stray animal. But they picked me up off the street and took care of me, even when I didn't want their help. They showed me compassion, gave me a home. They taught me what it means to be a family. Hmm. Here, come with me. What's, uh, what's going on? I'm making a business call. Well, well, Loss. It's good to hear from you. Did you get what I sent you? Yeah, Brandon, I did. Thank you. No problem at all, Lass. Now, you don't usually make calls from this number for casual conversation. Tell me what's up. I got someone here who I think could prove very useful. Interesting. Care to elaborate? He's an ember. Ah, I see. We could use another one of those. And he's just young enough to be housebroken. Sounds like quite the opportunity. I'd like to speak with him, if you don't mind. Uh, hey. Brandon, is it? Aye, lad. Pleasure to meet you. I hear you gave Morgan the slip. Well, it was more like I slipped and bumped my head, but yeah, at this point I guess you could say that. Ha! You're funny, lad. We've been missing that sort of spark around here. If you need anything, you can come to us. We'll get you straightened out. I appreciate that. Listen, Morgan's been making life hard for us for a while. But fortunately, we've been able to give as good as we've been getting. How about you help us out evening the odds? Someone in your position would definitely benefit from a good bit of revenge, don't you think? I've seen the photos of Morgan's handiwork. I, I knew those people. They didn't deserve what happened to them. They deserve justice. They say that justice and revenge are two ships braving the same storm. And the storm is brewing, my friend. You come along with us on a job we're cooking up, and we'll get you settled in. What do you say? I... cautiously accept your offer. Fair enough, lad. I'll be seeing you. I think you'll make a nice little addition to our group. So... What now? Now? You get some more rest. You're gonna need it for the trip tomorrow. You leave first thing in the morning. With me? What, what, you're not coming with me? Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. I don't really hang out there very often anymore, and there's a reason for that. Can I ask what the reason is? More like who? Ugh. Honestly, talking about him pisses me off. So it's just better that I don't. Take my word for it, please. Right. Got it. Let's just say... You'll know him when you see him. Hey, Jason. Let me know when you want another Velvet LaChance. The fuck is that, Fruity Shy? Just give me the fucking usual. Uh, that is your usual. Just give me the fucking usual and stop twisting me nips, you git. Uh, sure thing. And stop calling me Jason. I told you it's Mason, you twat. Mason Greyfump. I'm gonna go bleed the lizard. Anyone touches my Swedish fish, and I'll scuff up the tusser sideways. Have you guys seen Jason Statham? I, uh, I heard he might be around here somewhere. Nope, I haven't seen him. Sorry. Okay, alright. Well, thanks. Um, I'm gonna go look over somewhere not here. So, okay, let me, let me know, let me know if you see him anywhere. Thanks, bye.
What you bummy chaps gawking at? Excuse me, anyone know where I can find Brandon? Oi! Who in the Queen's name's this airy fairy? Easy, Jason. I mean, Mason. This is the one Nick sent. Really? That don't look like much to me. Wait! What? <laughs> You're Jason Statham! <laughs> I love your movies! I, I just rewatched. No. I'm nothing like that manky, parky, plug ugly, crumpet, gobbling uphill gardening chuffer. That shaved fucking vagina wishes he was me. Uh. Oh. Uh, okay. Don't bother getting friendly. I'm not the kind of guy you want to take the peace with. It's alright, lad. Don't let him get under your skin. He doesn't mean anything by it. Actually, I always thought meeting him would go down exactly like that. I only thought he'd be taller. <laughs> Same here, actually. Come, we still need to work up a plan. We know the layout, but we've been unable to get anyone in without being seen. Take a look at this. Huh, we're breaking into Golden Glow? I told you, Trollops, we don't need stealth. Just let me have a go at them. I'll be in and out before they even know what hit them. Get him! Time to die! Ah. Come on! Ah. 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 Wait! No! Ah. No! Ah. Ah. Come on! No, please! No! Ah. Anyone for your mum? Ah. Ah. Mason? Ugh. Fine. We're not killing anyone. We can't be making messes too big to clean up. This has to be done quietly. <laughs> Nob. It looks like the back entrance is heavily guarded. Uh, maybe a distraction on the bridge could be what we need to thin the herd while I slip inside. That could work. Trouble is, we'd need one hell of a distraction to make this happen. What? Hey man, check this out. What? What is it? The hell is that? Bro. I feel like a fucking idiot. Try not to lose your nerve, Mason. You got this. Damn, Mason. You work out? Piss off, you muppets. Let's get this knobhead in and out while I still got my dignity. Nah, <laughs> that's what she said. Hey down there, how's it going? Shite, what now? Just think of something. Keep them busy. Well, hurry up then. I'm almost inside. Not much longer now. Hey, you good, miss? Oh, uh, yeah, um... Yes! I'm doing quite well. How are you boys doing? Ah, uh, same old, same old. It's paying the bills. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Uh, I love a man with some... Uh, hustle. Alright, I'm in. Good. It doesn't sound like we'll have much time. Remember, you want to find the deed and the business ledger. We've got special plans for both. Alright. Let's make some eggs. Hey, Mason. How's it going out there? It's getting dodgy out of here, lads. You're not a... a, a dude, are you? Um, uh, uh... No! Hmm. You know, when M told us to sit around all day watching hallways, I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty loud, too. <laughs> he, he didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> what is this place anyway? Maybe he's got some sort of stash in here. Money, jewels, the works. <sighs> I'm sure there's nothing back here but a bunch of cobwebs and rat piss. This whole thing's a bloody joke. Most people in this town are actors. They're all professional bullshitters. This is no different. Nah, man. He's got us here for a reason. I say we find whatever's worth so much muscle and make off with it when no one's looking. Uh, yeah, that's a terrible idea. What happens when M finds out and comes after us? We'd be long gone by then. He barely comes around here anymore. We ain't doing nothing. We keep our heads on straight and our eyes forward. Do what you're told, you get paid. End of story. Yes, boss. Hey, lad. You need to move quick. Working on it. Never you mind what kind of knickers I'm wearing! Alright, I found it. Perfect. Now, enter the code 80085. Okay, I got the- wait. 
The code is boobs? Just put in a fucking code. It's what's making me makeup smudge. Yeah, right. Okay. You've got to work for this ass, boys. Okay. Got it. All right. Let's see what we've got in. Holy shit. What is it, lad? What was in the safe? Lad. <sighs> Not now. We need to move. Well, it's been fun, but I'll see you boys later. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. <coughs> Hmm. Brandon, it's time for my break. These are for the guys when they get back. Oh, thanks, brother. <laughs> Don't mention it. That is the fifth and last time I run in heels. And I'm gonna go wash this shit off, and we never talk about this again. Thank you, Mason. Ah, there you are, lad. What happened back there? What did you find that had you so spooked? Uh... Before Nix pulled me out of that flooded gift shop, I was there to find something for one of Morgan's people. They showed me a picture of it before I went down there to find it. Called it the Octopearl. Wait, lad. You don't mean the Octopearl, right? What? What is it with that thing? Well, you see... It's a bit of a legend among those with questionable morals. It goes by many names. The Octopearl, the Black Star, Hell's Tear. It was said to have been owned by a king who lived here hundreds of years ago. They say the souls of everyone executed at the request of this king were locked away inside of it. People fought wars over the thing. Anyone foolish enough to brave its protective chamber fell victim to all manner of tripwire, spike pit, and pendulum. No one in their right mind would dare attempt to retrieve it, lest they court death. Well, Morgan must not be in his right mind then. <sighs> what? Oh my god. It... it's actually real.